Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from first group uh, Cross Cultural Understanding TBIB We would like to present about body language and gestures in Indonesian and other countries The first presenter is me Khairunisa Iswaliha The third presenter is Muhammad Imam Bayhaki and the last presenter is Putri Melinia Okay, before we talk about uh, body language and gestures in Indonesian and other country, it's better if we uh, know about what is body language and what is gestures. Okay, the first is what is body language? Body language is a type of nonverbal communication in which cycle behaviors as opposed to words are used to express or convey the information. Such behavior includes facial expressions, back Gestures and movement and use of space. Body language exists in both animal and human, but this article of use and interpretation of human body language. Next is gestures. What is gestures? The gestures is a specific body movement that reinforces a verbal message or conveys a particular thought or emotion. Although gestures may be made with the head, shoulders, or even the legs and feet, most are made with the hands and arms. Okay, next, we will talk about Indonesian body language and gestures. The first, uh, we will talk about Indonesian greeting. Okay, greeting an elder. To greet an elder, a respected person in the community, like a teacher, your parents, grandmother, and so on, move their overhead hand to slightly touch your forehead. Next is shaking hands. Shake hands softly and then slightly touch your chest afterward. Men usually give a stronger grip than women when they are shaking hands. Touching your chest after shaking hands demonstrate respect to other person you are taking their greeting into your heart. It's often okay to shake hands with someone of the opposite sex. Just use a soft grip and then slightly touch your own chest as well. Next is greeting uh, another female friend. When female friends meet, they often greet each other by kissing the cheek to cheek. In Indonesian, uh, this is known as chipika chipiki. Okay, next is an alternative greeting. Sometimes you may meet a Muslim Indonesian who will not touch someone who they don't know uh, of the opposite sex. Greet them with your hands together instead and bow a little bit. Okay, next is we will talk about welcoming a guest. When welcoming people through a door or entry, silakan masuk, gesture using your palm or thumb. Okay. Uh, never use your index finger to point or gestures. Next. Uh, third reading, we will uh, talk about interaction. First is giving and receiving things. Always your, always use your uh, right hand when passing and receiving things. Using the left hand is considered very implied. Slightly bow your head as you say thank you. Next is calling someone over. Instead of waving your finger up, Words, as you will in Australia, with your fingers downwards. Next is forget a point. Similarly, when you point at something or someone, never use your index finger. In Java, it's common to use your thumb instead. Next is walking past people. Slightly blow, bow your body and put your right hand in front of you, body, as you walk in front of someone and don't forget to say permisi. Okay, next is telling it like it is. So over it or in Indonesian, tap it there. Okay, like this. Next is piece of cake. 
when a consonant or is you is kecil, touch the tip of your thumb with your index fingers and then flick your index finger away. This gestures accompanies the praise. Masalah itu kecil sekali sampai bisa disentil or the problem is so easy to handle. It's like flicking away a speck of dust. Next is use your brain, not your knee. It's, com it's commonly said to people who do stupid things without thinking. Their common sense comes up to the height or of their knee rather than the height of their brain. Next is everyday life. Sitting. Male, sit with your feet crossed at the ankles. In Indonesian, this pose is called bersila. And female, sit with your feet tucked under you, turned down on the floor. Next is eating. Food tastes better when you eat with your hands. Indonesian call this the 11 finger fork. To eat Indonesian style, pinch your thumb and fingers together around the food, making it into a ball and eat. This is usually done with rice. Perhaps avoid this technique if you are left-handed. So and ask for a spoon and fork. Here we go to the next presenter. My name is Rila Faradila. And I will discuss about Korean body language and gesture. Uh, I'm sorry, before, before that, I record this video in the morning, so there are sound of rooster coming in this video. Uh, so, the next slide is Finger Hurt. You can see on this video the gesture of Finger Hurt. With how far reaching this cancer is, you've probably seen people aside from Korean food to dispose on social media. So, this cancer is common with us. We can see this finger hurt on the Korean drama film, right? And so, the next is beginning with the palm down. Uh, I used to calling someone over with your palms up to the reverse of that becoming caster and that's how Koreans wave someone over to where they are at. So it is uh, usually we do and also in the Korean people. Uh, and then move the finger together in the effect coming higher motion or they allow their full hands to do the signal. Remember that they do not do this with their palms up, or else their friends will think they will feel anymore. In other words, it can be seen as a bit condensed candy. And then, uh, passing other seven things with two hands. In the Korean culture, during your stay in the Korea, the country, Korea, you may have noticed the Korean self and hands of things with part of their head. It represents uh, respect each other, and then two thumbs up for a yes, and two arms crossed for a no. A sign. From getting and handing items, Koran also make us of their hands and arms when expressing approval and dismay. And then, peace pose. You can see the gesture of peace pose on this video. It's like when we are uh, took a photo with our friends. See. Uh, in the photo is very far larger than the finger hurts sign, the peace sign, shaped like a little V, is ubiquitous in Korean spirits that try hands to the pose instantly when called to face the camera. And then, money signs. 
current talk about money and their respective income as part of regular conversation. Although it may be surprising during the conscious newcomers, money conversations are common to such a degree that there is a money category that to be used when the topic slide into daily chats. It is similar to the August signs with the three feature rise, but it presented horizontally against the cheese. The circular shape formed by the individual and the times resembles that of a coin, hence in the hand gesture that come convenience when Korean have to steer a discussion about finish. You can see on this video the photos represented the money sign gestures. And then pink pink is rare. Pink is rare as common with us uh in the daily uh, friendship when Karen says yes to plans and give each other the pinkies were expect the commitment to already be be halfway fulfilled so when Korean uh, use this gesture it means that you must fulfill the promise you can see the representation of pinky swear in this video like just like that and then smacking of me smacking of me you know a korean has their eureka moment when they hit their knees it is aimed to the place of like both feeling after mulling over a difficulty or a, a problem for quite some time. Uh, often done well, sit the gesture protests a slapping sound that indicates a current enthusiasm and excitement about a fresh idea. And then gesture of love. Gesture of love, it means uh, Korean love, the feeling of giving love, that they have other gestures for admiration and affection. This gesture is so familiar with us. You can see on the key drama film, there are many gestures of love you can look at. And then, invitation to drink parts. The gestures are a fun way to round up your met when you want a night of drunkness uh, you know in korean drunkness is their culture and you can see the representation uh, gesture of invitation to drink bones in this video just like that photo and then rock paper and skisher uh, this is so common with us. It's like a child king. In uh, in Korean, also do this. The classic childhood game is played in South Korean too, albeit with a few hand gestures that you may not be aware of. And then hand on nip. Hand on nip. Usually, when two people are talking in an informal manner and one suddenly plays his or her hand on their name, it is a comedy comeback, means I beg to differ. For example, a friend say, I am the most handsome person in the world, aren't I? And one silently responds with a hand on the name. This gesture express louder at your ridiculous but still a polite way of this a dream so this kind of gesture it's uh, means a polite way to express the disagreeing so the last one is touching the tongue the nose with finger if you happen to see someone touching the tip of their tongue, then their nose is repeated, 
repetitively, it means that their leg has fallen asleep and they are trying to wake it up or their leg has cramps and they are trying to relieve it. Okay, and our American body language in case third. We communicate by the way we stand, the tone of our voice, and gestures, and even the subtleness of fashion and movement. You may be a master of American English, but until you learn to speak American by the language, you may find it difficult to connect in interviews with workers, with new friends, and even love interests. The first, personal space. Most Americans have what they call personal space, this invisible space around a person has an invisible boundary. Depending on your country of origin, you may think nothing of bumping shoulders with someone in a crowded market or learning in close to hear what the person is saying. It may make the most sense to you to sit next to someone in an uncrowded. But Americans will go out of their way to give people space. Second, the OK symbol. The OK hand gestures. It's uncommonly misunderstood from a body language common in the US. It involves making a circle with the thumbs and pointer finger while allowing the other three fingers to find out. To Americans, the OK hand gesture means this is good, no problem, I agree, or even that's a good deal. It does bring something. But to some of us, this may seem to the, the opposite. The same symbol is used to mean voices. In the body language of many other cultures, in some cultures, it's very offensive. And then, the third, the thumb ups. Killing the fingers into a first and extending the thumb upwards is known as a thumb ups. To Americans, this means I approve or good work. In some countries, this can be a very offensive way to tell someone to leave your lawn. Practice occasionally using the OK and thumb ups connect with others. And the next, eye contact. Americans see lack of eye contact as one of the following. Lack of confidence, thinks that you're lying, and embarrassment. Among body language tips, making eye contact is among the most important. Whether you're making friends, shopping, or going for a job interview, you want people to trust you. Eye contact is a technique that takes time to learn. It involves looking at someone's face, not naturally in the eyes, and occasionally looking away. And the fifth, nodding. Nodding is used in many cultures, and in those cultures, it can mean many things. When you're having a conversation with an American, they will likely be shaking their head up and turn very slowly. This does not mean yes. I agree, or I like what you're saying. It's simply the way that Americans show that they are listening to you. Observe others, master this technique, and learn to slowly note as you speak with people to demonstrate that you're listening. Nah. And then, after knew about some American gestures, there are some specific gestures of hand. The hand gestures below are used to replace a word or press or accompany a word or first while speaking. I asked my family for some help in recording this gesture and I've included pictures of them demonstrating what each hand gesture looks like. The one, the first, air quotes. Air quotes are matched by raising both hands to about A level and flexing the index and middle fingers of both hands while speaking. This means you are quoting someone or something while you are speaking. And second, hand wrapping. Hand wrapping or wrapping both hands together in front of the body indicates either you feel cold or you are expecting or anticipating something. The third, thumb up or thumb down. Thumb up or thumb down are common gestures of approval or disapproval. The gestures are made by extending the thumb upward or downward with the rest of the hand in a first. And the next high five. High five is a celebratory gesture in which two people simultaneously raise one hand 
and then slap their hands together in the air. This is against the orphan youth in celebration. For example, after winning a game, something people say, Kimi Vive, when they want to high five with you. And the next, God's Fingers. God's Fingers are used to express you are wishing or hoping for something. They are also used to wish someone could like. Next, uh, OK or AK. Okay. Uh, OK is made by connecting the thumbs and four finger in a circle and holding the other finger strike. This is the sign for the word. OK. This means everything is fine or no problem. And then, V sign or P sign. The V sign is made by raising the index and middle fingers and spurting them to form a V with the palm facing outward. This sign began to be used during World uh, War II to indicate the fourth victory. In the 1060, the hippie movement in the United States began to use the fin sign to mean peace. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The next is Philippine Spaghetti Language and Caster. Uh, I will explain about uh, Philippine Spaghetti Language and Caster. In, in Philippine culture, the use of body language and hand gestures are very common in daily communication. If you are an expert living in the Philippines, you would want to familiarize yourself with this common gesture to avoid any misunderstanding. And here are a few comments from a non-verbal communication and what they mean in the Philippines. Okay, at the first, the greeting and touching gesture. Handshaking is the common custom, with both men and women shaking hand in the friendly and informal fashion. Philippines may greet one another with the eyebrow flash, which is merely a quiet lifting of the eyebrows. This is one way of how Filipinos greet each other in a casual and quick way, acknowledging that you show the person. This gesture is sometimes followed with a friendly tap in the shoulder if they are within reach or uh, they are can eyebrow flash if they are meet uh, other people. And then, don't worry about a bit of passion and solving when using public room tra transportation. Filipinos seldom quickly or observe ordinary lines. Generally speaking, the Filipinos are a touch oriented society. And then, people of the same sex may be seen holding hands in public place, which is simply a gesture of friendship. Okay, the second is beckoning caster. The first, and uh, uh, instead of pointing to an object, Filipinos will shift their eyes toward it, or purpose the lips and point with the mouth. Instead of lifting a hand or finger or arm, which uses unnecessary energy, Filipinos sometimes use their pouting lips to point to point at a certain object or direction instead. Many foreigners find this funny and confusing, but this gesture is very common and unique to Philippines. When you see a Filipino do this, don't confuse it with a invite for a kiss. Okay, the next is to become someone the palm face word and the finger are moved in a scratching motion. Never call your index finger back and forth because that is considered insulting. 
so believe in this person for example want to call his friend then he doesn't need to make a sound but just look and use hand signal and then next either call the index finger or four finger toward you in the Philippines the index finger uh, it is a root to point your index finger at someone especially in uh, Philippines uh, in the Philippines index finger is used only to beckon drugs so don't use index finger if you uh, in Philippines okay and the third is other nonverbal gesture it is considered root to stare Prolactin direct eye contact in consider impolite and even intimidating. And then among the Philippines, Lara is used to convey both enjoyment and pleasure, but also to miss embarrassment over and other person misfortune. Next, respect is always shown to elderly people, and then speaking in a loud voice is considered ill mineral and roots okay uh, i think they are caster body language and caster of philippines and then i think enough presentation for our group and thank you for your attention the last i say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh